Hi, I'm Joe Lazzarino. Today I'm going to show you the all new Volano made by Van Lee RV. If you haven't heard of Van Lee, which is a startup company about five years ago, you've probably heard of Tiffin Motorhomes. Tiffin is one of the best selling motorhome manufacturers out there, which is a family owned manufacturer, and they build models like the Phaeton, the Allegro Bus, and the Open Road. About five years ago, they had the idea of if you could take all the same parts and pieces that you have in their best selling motorhomes that are half a million dollars and put it in a fifth wheel that you could really do some amazing things in the market. So what we're doing today is we're gonna show you the Volano by Van Lee, their newest floor plan out here on gorgeous Lake Tyler, which is really where an RV should be. I'm gonna start by showing you up here on the front cap. The first thing you'll notice as you come up here to the front cap is it's a full fiberglass, seamless and painted front cap. This is BASF paint and Van Lee creates the front cap themselves. This isn't from a vendor like most manufacturers where they all built, buy it and bring it in from the same mold. They do this themselves. They'll integrate a front light across the whole thing. So when you're hooking up and unhooking at nighttime, it makes it much easier to see. Not to mention it looks gorgeous right up front. They're gonna use a Rotaflex pin box, which is a little different than what a lot of manufacturers will use. You'll see some that'll have the shifting plate on the front, but what this is designed to do is it's a pivoting head on the pin box, which essentially when your truck hits a bump and the trailer hits a bump at the same time or at a different time, that it's gonna rotate so that way it's gonna eliminate all that road shock that you're gonna feel on a typical fifth wheel or especially a travel trailer. As you're coming around the front here, you'll notice it's slam latch baggage doors all the way around the front. Most manufacturers, they'll only put it on the front here, but then everything else is the little twist latches, which if you've had an RV before, you know it lasts about six months before those bust off. This, all the way around the coach, everything is slam latched. There's no little twist metal latches anywhere, all the way around. So coming forward, I'll show you how the slam latch baggage doors will work here. You'll have them all the way around the entire coach, everywhere. It's magnets up top, so no more of the little plastic latches that'll bust off. It latches right up on the top. You have them across the whole unit. It's a full thickness door. It's not the little inch wide door that a lot of manufacturers will have. It's gonna be fully insulated all the way around. The next thing you'll notice is this fantastic storage compartment. And how they accomplish this is by running what's called a drop frame chassis. There's a lot of manufacturers out there that are gonna run an I-beam chassis that comes straight across this way. Right, whereas these guys, they're gonna run their 12 inch I-beam to here, and then they're gonna drop it down and then run it underneath, which is creating a monster storage space, which is perfect for a full timer, or somebody who's camping a long time, or just have a lot of stuff that you wanna bring along with you. The next thing you'll notice as you're looking here at the sidewall, is how this fiberglass looks a little bit different than some other manufacturers and some other fifth wheels that you'll see out there. What they're using is called a T60 fiberglass. What these guys do a little bit differently is they take this fiberglass in its liquid form and they pour it into a 40 foot long pan. And they're gonna take it while it's in its liquid form and lay the wood backer on top of that essentially eliminating any possibility for delamination down the road. It's so thick and so durable that they can't roll it up and bring it into the plant. They have to have a flatbed truck come in with 40 foot sheets every single morning so they can create their walls, right? Down the road, when you're talking five years, a 10 year, a 15 year camper, this is the kind of RV that you can have for a long, long time. Whereas there's some manufacturers that only build these to last for a couple of years. This is a long-term investment. Again, you're seeing some of the motorhome DNA, the same fiberglass that they're gonna put on their half a million dollar buses and they'll put a $15,000 paint job right on top of. They're gonna take this same laminated sidewall construction and they're gonna do the same thing in the slide boxes here. What a lot of manufacturers do is they'll have all the end walls laminated, but one thing they know is customers a lot of times won't look here on the end walls, underneath or on the roofs. A really special part about this Volano that a lot of times gets overlooked is that the same construction here on the sidewalls of the end boxes are the same as the sidewall of the unit. It's the same on the floor and the same on the roof, right? You can walk on this slide roof to take care of your maintenance, to inspect, to sweep off the leaves, whatever it may be. There's a lot of units that you definitely don't wanna do that on where it's just a piece underneath, a piece of plastic, right? Or it's just a piece of cardboard, right? Covered with roof material. It's not great. They do a fantastic job in ensuring the longevity of this RV here. One thing that you'll notice as you come around this side of the Volano is just the eye appeal of the outside. They do a couple of things differently. Once you have the T60 fiberglass, they're putting BGS graphics out of Wisconsin on these. They ship them all the way down from Wisconsin. And the reason they bring these in is they have a five-year warranty. There's lots of manufacturers who will just use an automobile sticker or just a small, a small little cheap sticker that you throw on the outside of these and it might have a one-year warranty. This is a vinyl decal that they're putting on the outside. A five-year warranty and they really hold up well. You'll also notice that you'll have frameless windows all the way through. 
you won't have any seals anywhere on this. The sun is not going to beat down on the seals on the outside. It won't dry rot. It won't crack. You're not going to have water intrusion down the road because it's totally sealed all the way around. And it's a jealousy type window like you'd expect to see in an ultra high-end home where you're going to crank it out on the inside and it's going to come right out. So you can even keep these windows open in the rain and have airflow and cross ventilation in the inside of your RV. One nice thing you'll notice is this is the solid step that sits directly on the ground. There's been a lot of manufacturers that have jumped on this bandwagon, but what you've noticed with these is not only does it sit on the ground, it's not those old type that fold up underneath and rust and get tight, but it also has about twice the size of a step here that a lot of manufacturers will have. It's much wider on the top. These steps are also super easy to be able to fold inside the unit, keeping it clean and making it real easy to use. When you open up the door here, the first thing you'll notice, monster grab handle right inside. It's a little bit lower placed than most units out there, but it makes it real easy to grab right as you're coming inside on the solid steps. Next thing you're going to do to put this inside the unit is you just lift up and this folds right inside your door here. It's going to latch right in place and your door is going to close right over the top of it. What's cool about this is it gives you the availability to put your doors, tire, and axles in a totally different configuration, which gives you a lot of creativity as far as the floor plan and how you can accommodate the customer. Right over the top of the tires here because you don't have a step well anymore. One thing you'll notice on this unit here is this is an 8,000 pound axle with H-rated tires and 17 and a half inch wheels. On any Volano, you're either gonna have a 7,000 or an 8,000 pound axle. Most manufacturers in this price segment are gonna be at five or 6,000 pound axles with an E-rated tire. This is truly made for a customer who's gonna spend a long time in it and take this across the country to some beautiful areas. RVing is all about enjoying the great outdoors. And one thing you'll notice on the Volano that they do a little bit differently that some other manufacturers make you pay extra money for is a second awning is available on all of these units. You'll start at the very front of the coach and all the way down the side, you'll have the electric awning down the whole thing. You could have picnic tables, lawn chairs, your outside TV, a grill, everything you need to enjoy camping, you can have underneath the awning on this side of this Volano. They're monster awnings all the way down. All you have to do is push a button at the panel inside, both awnings come out, and you're good to go. The next thing you'll notice as you come down here is more storage, more slam latch baggage doors. When you're out camping and you're bringing along your fishing poles, your lawn chairs, everything, you've got the long storage there to be able to store stuff. You have a space for toolboxes, tackle boxes, anything else that you'll need, you'll have space for all the way around. And then another monster tray and storage in the back for even bigger items. And this storage here is one of the coolest things about this floor plan in particular. You're starting to see it on a lot of their units. Again, more slam latch baggage doors, all metal, magnet latches up top, and a monster storage tray that's rated for 800 pounds. You can put anything you want, plus some on this right here, and then free up space in your front storage inside the RV, and you can actually use it for what it's meant for. A fantastic storage space. You can see the net that barriers everything off up on the front. Just a fantastic space underneath here. You'll notice here on the back of the Volano that it's going to be prepped for a wireless camera in the back. We sell them in our parts and accessories room and you can easily plug it right in and we'll give you the monitor for the inside of your truck, which you can see when you're in reverse, see behind you going down the road. Volano already has it prepped on the back here, so all you have to do is plug it in. There's no wiring, nothing to mess with. It makes it super easy and convenient for when you're heading down the road. Another great feature that the Volano does that you don't see in a lot of other manufacturers, again, just making camping even easier, is they put an electric cord reel right inside. All you do is you release it and you can pull your reel right out. When you're done, instead of lugging around that big heavy cord, you just hit retract and it's gonna retract the whole cord right there for you. Again, no more dirty, getting dirty, carrying the cord around the whole nine yards, makes it super easy. Coming through, you'll see the other side of the monster storage tray. You'll have the pass-through storage all the way over there finished out. You'll have electric outlets inside so you can leave chargers, things hooked up. Your stuff doesn't have to just be tossed in here. It has the whole space for everything that you'll need as you're going camping. Another great feature on the Volano here, and this is a great place to show it, is how they seal their slide rooms to keep water from coming in. Anyone who's RV'd for long knows that the worst thing you can have in your RV is water, and these guys do a cool job. What they're gonna do here is they're gonna have an H rubber on the outside, a splash guard underneath, and then two wiper seals on the inside, top and bottom. That's five total seals on your slide outs. The most that a manufacturer will ever do is three. Most are two seals on the slide outs. You're gonna have different seals from all different sides to keep water from ever coming into your slide rooms there. Does an absolutely fantastic job. Keeps it really nice for a long time to come. One really cool thing that Volano will do is they have a separate compartment door of, away from your storage facility there 
a separate compartment door for all your connections. Now, this isn't like a lot of manufacturers where they'll have plastic and stickers. This is all powder coated aluminum and they're gonna have it all etched in the aluminum with all of your all of your directions on how to use it inside there. This isn't something that in six months, the stickers on there are gonna get wet and fall right off. It'll show you where your tank fill is, how to winterize it, fill up the city, the pump, everything inside here is all taken care of, makes it really easy for a long time. And then one of the coolest parts about inside here is something that is often overlooked on these is you have electric gate valves. What makes that special is if you look at other manufacturers, what you'll see is they all have those pool cables with the black and the gray cables there that uh, where you dump your tanks. If you've been RVing for long, you know that's going to be one of your biggest warranty issues. The cables don't come out all the way. They don't come in all the way. They leak. You have issues. This is all an electric gate valve. All you're going to do is you're going to hit that button. It's going to open up the black tank. You're going to be allowed to dump it at that point. And then when it's done, you close it and you open up gray and you flush the whole thing out. This operates right off your battery and is nowhere to be found on their warranty claims list, opposed to where those cables for manufacturers are a big, big problem for them. So walking inside the Volano on the solid steps here, one thing that you'll notice is once you regain your breath on how beautiful this is, the first thing you notice is how big it is inside. And what they'll do a little bit different from a lot of other guys is they will utilize the space in here just with fantastic engineering designs. They'll do three things that make it a little bit different. One is it is a straight line roof all the way across. You'll see some other fifth wheels out there in the past where they would slope off in the front, they'd slope off in the back. And if you were anyone that was over about 5'11", 6 feet tall, you were hunching over walking inside your RV. Here, it's just like they do in their half a million dollar motorhomes. It's a straight roof line all the way across. That's the first thing. The second thing that you'll see is that they'll do an eight foot tall slide room in their units there. So it's a taller slide box. And then the third thing that they'll do is that you'll have a wide body unit. So all three of those things will make this feel much bigger than it actually is and much bigger than the length would dictate. Where most manufacturers, to get this much space, you're talking about a 45 foot unit. This is only gonna be a 40 foot unit. And then the same thing with their 34 footer. It has as much space as some units out there that are 38 feet long. So just a fantastic job utilizing all their space. One of the biggest things that set Volano apart from other manufacturers is they're going to do the same type of cabinetry in here that you're going to see in their motorhomes. We call it the motorhome DNA, right? They're going to take parts and pieces out of the motorhome and they're going to put it in here. The biggest one here is the cabinetry. You'll notice that it's all solid wood all the way through. As you look at other fifth wheels in this price point, or even fifth wheels that are priced $50,000, $60,000 over the top of this is they're still going to use wrapped board, fake wood with wood paper over the top of it. They're still going to have cloth valances over the, over the blinds there. This is all solid wood that they're going to create in-house. You talk to some other manufacturers out there, they're going to give you one standard wood color across the board. We all know that everybody has a little bit different of a taste. Personally, I love this one. It's the farm style look with the gray painted cabinets and the white accent boards. Then they'll have some that's a more traditional honey type wood all the way through called their amber glaze. They have another one called English chestnut, mocha, and they have a ton of different options that you can have there that really open it up to make the RV your own. Because most places, this is either your home or you're spending a lot of time in it. it makes it really nice. In this floor plan here, the 394RK, Volano's newest layout, they do a fantastic job at laying out the kitchen. You have a ton of kitchen space with two slides in the unit here. You'll have the dinette that's facing the TV, all solid surface. There's no wrapped or laminate countertops anywhere. Even as you go up into the bathroom, they're gonna do a great job with that. Coming around through the kitchen, you have a fantastic oven, a stove, residential style appliances. It's not like the old style RV appliances. You have the huge island without a sink buried in it, so you have a ton of prep space, a big 70-30 sink with a window facing the back of the RV. So when you're out camping and the lake's right behind you and you're up at the sink or in the kitchen, you've got windows up behind the sink on all four sides of your kitchen there. You can see out and see the view of wherever you're out camping at. This is their rear kitchen floor plan, which is their newest, but Van Lee does a great job at having a layout that's built for any type of customer and however you're camping. They have a small rear living room, a big rear living room, a bath and a half, a big wine bar, and then they have this rear kitchen here. A couple of the features that you'll see in every Volano out there is they're gonna have this big oven and stovetop right here. One thing that you'll notice on this stovetop 
is that where in the old days with RVs is you'll have the three triangle burners up there. Well, if you ever did much cooking in your camper, you'll notice is that when you had that one big pan on the top of that burner, you couldn't use any of the other burners because it covered up that space. This is actually giving you more of a chef style kitchen. You can have a burner here. You can use the other one over here. You have a full size oven underneath and this is all with a pilot and a spark. You don't have to climb underneath to light it with a match like you used to in your old RV. And it's just a fantastic way to be able to cook in your RV. And then you're not out eating all the time. Really the best way to go camping. What you'll notice as you come through this side of the kitchen here is a ton of storage space. All solid wood, real deep cabinets here, a little bit of space for everything in a kitchen. A common problem with RVs is that you don't have enough space for all of your stuff and it's not really thought about and designed with an RVer in mind. In this case, you have small drawers, you have big drawers in the island here, you have big cabinets, small places for pots and pans, cookie sheets, spices, everything that you would need as you're out camping and you wanna cook in your RV. Again, more storage down underneath here, places that you can put cutting boards, cookie sheets. They think about everything in this, and that's one of the benefits of having your own cabinet shop, is if it works for the RVer, you can create it. You're not just trusting somebody else who built an RV for every other manufacturer out there. This is all with their own thought process, and again, with that motorhome DNA. A big 70-30 sink on the inside here. You can wash dishes, cook, clean, the whole nine yards, just like you'd have at your house. As a matter of fact, this is just like I have at my house windows all the way behind the sink like I mentioned a minute ago. Monster storage over the sink here. And then one of the nice things that they do here in the Volano is that you have a residential refrigerator. It's huge. You get a ton of storage on the inside. And as I open up to show you, Notice the latches that they put on this. This isn't a normal manufacturer where they're gonna give you a little Velcro st strap which you lose and then go down the road and your stuff all flies out. It's an actual latch. It just clips right in place and unclips. Keep the refrigerator shut while you're traveling. And then huge storage space underneath in the big drawer down below for the, uh, for the, ref uh, the freezer. When you're looking at the microwave, you'll notice just as big as the one you have at your house. A full-size microwave and it's a convection oven as well. It's gonna come with a circular rack and a rectangular rack that goes inside, so you can cook just like you would cook in your oven with it. A fantastic option for a, uh, for a kitchen here, which is actually a standard across the board in all Volanos. So the countertops are backlit, you have lighting underneath the island, rope lighting in your ceiling boxes, and then you'll have outlets in all of your countertop spaces as you go around the unit. Some of them pop up with USB charging stations. Some of them are mounted into your sidewall, but you'll never be in the need of an electrical outlet when you're camping and cooking in your Volano. Moving on downstairs as we talk about the electronics, my favorite feature of about the whole thing in the Volano is how they do their electrical systems and their wiring. And I'll show you as we come down here. This is called the multiplex wiring system. What you'll see here is it's a control panel that replaces what you used to see in the RVs with those big control boxes that had the, the switches all over the place. Nothing was labeled. It's hard to figure out and how to use. The first thing you'll notice is you can control your air conditioners right here. On the main screen, it's gonna tell you everything. You can do master lights off for the whole unit, master lights on. You can go and individually do the lights on this panel here, and you can go to each room across the whole unit control outside, inside, the whole nine yards, everything from this panel. Air conditioners, the front, middle, and rear. If I forgot to mention, this has got triple air conditioners right up top. They're low profile Coleman Mach 8s, just like you would see on a half a million dollar bus. You control your slide outs here, your fans up top, even your awnings, and then you have all your settings right in there as well so you can reconfigure if you ever add a certain option or put on something install it to the unit it is all customizable and works with the rv and how you have it you have your tank levels everything right here on the main screen your battery level all of it it's run by a data wire so it saves a ton of wiring opposed to those old panels that you used to have as you go into the other rooms of the rv you're going to have regional panels that wirelessly connect to the main panel of the multiplex brain what you'll have here is in this living room, you can control the living room light on and off, all of your accent lighting on and off, even down to your cup holders, your left sofa, right sofa, everything comes on and off. And as you're in the kitchen, it's gonna have controls for the kitchen area on the panel in the wall in there. And if you're in the bedroom or bathroom, it's gonna have a regional panel to control those. One new feature that they just started coming out with is that this is actually battery powered instead of wired into the RV. You can take this right off the wall 
and you can carry this down with you. So if you wanted to go and sit on the couch across the room and needed to turn your lights on and off, you can have this right with you. Still connects to the whole unit, and you can even hold the button down and dim your lights all the way across, and it's gonna have a memory there where you can set it, turn it off, turn it on, and keep it right there at the same level. Again, like I said, one of my favorite features on the whole unit. And it's not like other manufacturers where you're wondering what switch goes to what. Everything is labeled. It's all easy to control. You can take it off, bring it with you, control the whole RV. Makes it really, really nice. The next thing that you want to talk about that's one of the best features of the Volano is how they do their air conditioners. What you'll notice is if you look up here at the ceiling, you're not going to see any drop down air conditioners anywhere. That's a feature that you're going to see in some low end travel trailers and some big fifth wheels out there have tried to adopt it to save some money. What you'll see here, same thing they're going to do on the high-end motorhomes. When you have a straight roof line like this, you can construct your air conditioner system just like you would a house. Down the right-hand side of the unit here is all of your returns. Down the left-hand side is all of your outputs. You're going to create a circulation from your three 15,000 BTU air conditioners, a circulation that comes out and comes in through the entire unit. You're not wasting BTUs circulating up in the attic trying to force it down into the coach. It's a constant flow throughout the RV, right like that. Next thing you'll notice that makes a huge difference is soft touch ceilings up at the roof. This isn't a plastic panel like you're gonna see in other fifth wheels. This is one of the only fifth wheels in the entire industry that has a soft touch ceiling. And it's really the only one in this price point. To find this, you're jumping up about $60,000, $70,000 to get something else with that. Better insulation and it dampens the noise. When you're listening to TV, when you're talking inside, it's not echoing, right? Makes a great, great a little addition to how you're camping in this. You've got two opposing sleeper sofas just like you would have in your actual house. You're gonna take the bottom cushions off, they're gonna fold right out to the middle, and you'll be good to go and ready to sleep a handful of people in here. You've got also the recliners that are electric and gonna face directly at the TV. Makes it super, super comfortable when you're out camping and just does an awesome, awesome job when you're sitting in here, relaxing, watching TV, having a movie at nighttime. It does an awesome job. Coming down here on the entertainment center, you'll notice that they're gonna use the biggest TV they have available to fit in this spot. Throughout all of their floor plans, they're going to have a great flat screen TV. They're going to have a sound bar. It's wired right up to the DVD, CD player. You can plug in the USB or Bluetooth your phone to it to play on the inside or outside speakers. Something really cool about this also is you'll notice the fireplace. And not only is it there for an ambiance and looks really nice, but it also is a heater as well. And it's an electric heater. The winter time, you can use that. You don't have to waste your propane. You can flip that on, use the free electricity at a campground, and you can run that and keep the RV really warm inside here, unless it gets really cold, which in that case, you'll wanna turn on your propane furnace and you're good down to zero degrees in this RV. As we're walking upstairs here, you'll notice down beneath that it's got a central vacuum where you can plug the hoses right into and has an electric dustpan. You simply come right up here, kick that over and you can sweep right in there and it's gonna bag it up underneath in your pass-through storage. Coming up the stairs, you have a solid grab handle. You come right up, even more storage here, all the way through, full-size storage, and then coming into the bathroom. Here in the bathroom, it's a little different of a configuration than you see in a lot of RVs. Super bright, does an awesome job, and you get a ton of space, perfect for a full-timer. They're gonna line up the shower going east and west instead of north and south like most units. When you do it like this, it does a couple of things to the design. One is that you can get a bigger shower that you can stand up in if you're a tall guy like myself. Two is you pick up a huge space for a linen closet in your bathroom. And then three, one of the coolest features on this one is you're gonna have double sinks, his and her sinks in the bathroom sitting long ways, where most units are gonna have one sink in a corner and it's gonna be filled up by an awkward configuration. Over the sink here, almost the full width of the bathroom wall, you have a huge cabinet up here where you're gonna be able to put toothbrushes, towels, soaps, everything that you'll need right up top here, just like you'd have at your house. The last thing to highlight in the bathroom here is the size and the design of this shower. I'm about six foot two inches tall, and I have plenty of room here in the shower. There's gonna be no issues there. There's a lot of units where when you're standing in there showering, if you're over about 5'11", you're showering in the skylight. You're going to have a shower, uh, seat in your shower here, and then you're going to have the adjustable shower head, and it's going to go full long ways, and you'll pick up this three-piece shower door that goes all the way across. Super easy to wipe off, clean up, and then get back to camping. Looking over here to my left, you'll see the toilet. 
has a sprayer to clean it out, a place to have the toilet paper already mounted on the wall. It doesn't come in a drawer like most units. And then you'll have a porcelain foot flush toilet all the way through, just like you would expect to see in a unit of this caliber. One more thing to mention as we head up into the bedroom is you'll notice this is actually has a lockable pocket door. Most other units out there, it just has a little strap or something to hold it into the wall. This is gonna clip down and go right into place to lock for while you're in transit. And then when you're closing the bathroom door, locks right in place. All the doors, solid wood. It's not foam core doors. It's actually a heavy door like you'd expect to see in your house. With magnet latches down beneath. Again, stuff that you only see when you get into ultra high-end motorhomes. One of the cool things about the Volano bedroom up here, not only is it gorgeous, but it's huge. You have a super deep slide out, king size bed, memory foam mattress that comes with the unit. And then by having the east and west bed here, you pick up a ton of floor space and have the availability to have a fantastic closet. Let me show you. You have hanging space all the way across, cubby holes in the back to put shoes and other items that are gonna roll around. And then one of the coolest things is no more of those clothes bars up top where when you're driving and taking a turn left or right, everything's sliding around. You have an individual slot for each of your clothes hangers. Everything can hang right there and stay in its space as you're using your RV. Over here, another regional panel for your multiplex wiring system. Everything is labeled across the whole thing. You can dim your bedroom lights or turn them off all together. You have a reading light over the, uh, the bed here. And then you can also have a master light off switch for the whole unit. When you come up here to go to bed, you forgot a light on downstairs, you don't have to get out of bed, you don't have to worry about it. You can master light off the entire unit. And what's even better is if you hear something outside the campsite at nighttime, you can turn on the porch light right from here, look right out your window and you see it. You don't have to walk downstairs, peek out your door, you can flip it on right from here. You'll have two charging stations next to either side of the bed with 110 outlets underneath. Tons of electrical outlets all the way throughout this unit. They do a fantastic job. What you'll notice here in the front corner of the closet is you have a space for a full stackable washer and dryer hookup. If you don't want a washer and dryer, then you can have this as a ton of extra storage space. But for the camper that uses the washer and dryer, this shelf simply comes out and you have the full stackable right here that you can use when you're camping. Last thing to notice about the bedroom in the Volano is one, you have huge storage space here across from the bed as well. Four full drawers here, two here, six total drawers in your bedroom in addition to the front closet and the big storage where the washer and dryer is. You can really pack along everything you wanna bring with you. Last thing, you'll notice you'll have day and night roller shades in the Volano here. And that's throughout the entire unit. Makes a huge difference when you're out camping that you can actually block out the sun during the day, still look outside, or at nighttime, black it out altogether. And at the same super low price, every TV piece of electronics that you see in this unit all comes standard, no extra charge right from the factory. Thanks for coming along, a quick tour of the Van Lee Volano by Tiffin Motorhomes. Absolutely a fantastic fifth wheel with a ton of motorhome DNA. If you'd like more information on how to purchase one, it's incredibly easy. Come by one of our stores, visit us on the website, and we can walk you through from A to Z. Thank you so much and have a great day.